In this video, let's explore the new Razor plugin. So this is a new limited to Cubase, and what's pretty interesting is the release functionality on it. So let me just load up the plugin and walk you through it, and then we'll show you what's pretty interesting about it. So here, you've got the Razor plugin. What you've got is a buffer window here showing you the waveform and the gain reduction. So if I play back my audio, you can see it's showing me the waveform there and it's buffering across. And this is in the scrolling mode. But if I click this, I can go to a stationary mode. So when I'm playing back, going to move with it. I switch back to the other mode. So that is the stationary mode. Quite like this mode, so I'm going to stick with that for now. And let's go through some of the other settings. So over here, you've obviously got your input level. So as the audio is coming in, it's showing you the input. And then over here, you've got the output after the processing has been done by the limiter. Then down here, you've got the input gain, so you can show how much level you want to increase it by. So if I play back, I can increase that level that's coming into the limiter. And then as I increase it, you can see the gain reduction that's happening. So I put in 8 dB of gain, and I've got a gain reduction of about minus 5 dB. I'm going to skip the release section for now. And then we're going to take a look now quickly at the output section. So here you can set the output ceiling. And as you know, with a limiter, you don't want anything to go above 0 dB. That's probably one of the principal things of a limiter. It's limiting the audio so it never goes above 0 dB and clips. Now this is set by default to minus 0 0.1 dB, which is fine. But if, but if your audio is going out to a lot of streaming platforms, a lot of those platforms are using minus 1 dB. So I can set that to a ceiling of 1 dB for streaming platforms. Then over here, I can do channel linking. And over here, I can detect into sample clipping. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that your output is always set at the actual ceiling. So you're not going to get any extra clipping going over, and it's always going to be at minus 1 dB. So this is a really powerful feature just to make sure that you're getting the right level that you want. Then compare. I'm just going to use manual mode for now. And we're going to increase this gain, and you're going to see the gain reduction. Now, what Compare allows you to do is allows you to compare your limited audio to the audio before you processed it. This is really important because most of the times you're pushing up the gain, and you're getting this perceived loudness. And by this perceived loudness, you think that your audio is sounding better just because it's slightly louder. But when you click the Compare option, this is going to be comparing your audio before with the processing of the limiter. So you're actually going to be hearing the limited audio and what that's doing to audio. So for example, if I play back, I'm just going to jump back over here and play back. Let's increase some of that push on the gain. You can see the gain reduction of minus 7 dB. Now if I bypass this, you can hear there's quite a drop in level. Now if I enable this and I click on compare, now listen here, when I switch off, I'll bypass it. That's before any limiting is applied. And then now with the limiting. So there's no huge jump in volume between the two. And you can actually start listening in and hearing what that limiter is doing to your audio. Now, obviously, if you're going to be exporting this out, just make sure that you untick compare so that it's exporting it out without that compare enabled and doing that volume drop. But for the remainder of this video, I'm going to leave compare tick so that I can actually perceive what's happening with the limiter compared to the input before and after. So now let's talk about the real big feature, which is this release functionality on the Razor plugin. Starting off, you've got manual. Now what this means is you can set the manual release time. Now take a look at this waveform over here and the gain reduction to see how that release is changing as you change this time. So I'm gonna have a short release time. You can see what's happening there, stacking it slightly and then jumping right back up. Now with a longer release time, you can immediately see the difference that's happening there with the release. Also, I've got this option here with a fast initial release phase. So if I set the release to maybe in the middle here and then enable this fast release, you can see how it's got a faster initial release on that release of the audio. Changing that for a longer time and then for a shorter time. 
changing that shape as you enable that. So that's the manual mode. You can manually set what you want to happen with the limiter. Then next up, you've got auto. So with auto, this dynamically controls the release time. So I don't have control over that release. So as I'm playing back audio, it's got a look ahead function that's looking at the audio and adjusting that release time accordingly. The problem I don't like about release is it sort of gives a sort of pumping effect if it's pushing too hard on the audio. So that's where some of these other options come in handy. So let's take a look at restricted minimum. Now with restricted minimum, this lets you manually set the minimum release time. So that means if I set this at about, let's say 40 milliseconds, the minimum release is always going to be 40 milliseconds. Nothing's going to be shorter than 40 milliseconds. So as I play back that audio, I'm not getting any release times that are shorter. If I shorten this here, now I'm going to have a much shorter release time. It's gonna dynamically have that look ahead function on the audio, but it's always gonna have a release time that's never lower than what you set here. The nice thing about this is I can listen to the audio and set the release so it's not pumping too much. Obviously I'm getting quite a bit of gain reduction here, so I'm just gonna pull back on this input. then restricted maximum is the opposite of this. So basically you're setting the maximum release time. So the release time is never, for example, going to ever be more than 50 milliseconds. So you can have quite short release times here where your maximum is never going above what you set here. So take a listen here while we play this back. So it's got short release times and dynamically choosing shorter times if need be. And obviously with these modes, I can also enable the initial fast release phase if I want as well. Then if you're working with more aggressive types of styles, maybe you've got some harder EDM styles that you're working with, you could choose the aggressive mode. So this is the ultimate mode for setting the maximum loudness. And what's pretty neat about it is it eliminates any pumping effects. So the algorithm that it's using allows you to get the maximum loudness with the least amount of pumping effects. So you've got an automatic time that's controlling or dynamically controlling the release time, but obviously this is pushing it to the max with regards to limiting. You can see, for example, with these how it is way more aggressive with the attack and release. I'm going to push up the gain more, and you can see how that is very, very aggressive. I don't find it's working particularly well for the style that I've applied it on. So with this, I'd probably go for the restricted minimum and have a release time of somewhere around 50 to 60 milliseconds with a gain of about 7 dB. That's working quite nice. So I'm getting some slight dips with the control of the dynamics. But if I untick this compare, getting a decent amount of level coming through after the limiting. For example, this was before. And now after. So that is the new Razer plugin. It's a very good limiter where you've got your standard functionality like your gain input, your gain reduction and your output ceiling. But then obviously you've got the flexibility with the release times to choose the best release time for the material that you're working on.